Minecraft is a sandbox video game that has allowed over 100 million registered users to mine and craft blocks. In fact, there are four times as many registered Minecraft users as there are people in Australia. These millions of users handle blocks that are exactly one cubic meter in volume, and after many hours of mining and crafting, players could eventually fill up their 36 inventory slots with 64 items per slot, meaning that they could carry 2,304 items of anything like sand, gravel, and maybe a little bit of TNT. If you could fill all 2,304 inventory slots with TNT, you could be carrying something that's as powerful as a nuclear bomb. This is because if you carry 2,304 cubic meters of TNT, which has a density of 1.65 grams per cubic centimeter, you would be carrying 3,801,600 kilograms of tri-nitrotoluene. And because TNT costs about $45 per kilogram, you would be carrying $171,072,000 of explosives on your back which is enough to buy 6,842 Game Boys that are made out of gold. Because who wouldn't want one of those? And if Steve were to accidentally grief someone's property with this amount of TNT, it would release 15.9 trillion joules of energy, equivalent to the nuclear bomb Fat Man that was dropped on Nagasaki in World War II, or enough energy to put a 4.5 million pound space shuttle into orbit. An explosive of this magnitude would likely devastate the map that you're playing on. Or would it? Well, you see, Minecraft maps are big. Like, really big. The dimensions of maps in Minecraft allow Steve to walk 30 million blocks in any direction, meaning that the length of a Minecraft map is 60 million meters long. If Steve were to walk at his average in-game speed of 4.3 meters per second, it would take him 161 days to go from one end of the map to the other. And if he used the second fastest form of transportation in the game, which is the minecart traveling at 19.6 meters per second, it would still take 35 days to go from one end of the map to the other. A map this big would have a surface area of 3.6 billion kilometers squared. And compared to the Earth's puny 510 million kilometers squared surface area, Area, the Minecraft map dwarfs the Earth by being about seven times bigger. This brings up the question that's on everybody's mind. What if the entire surface of the Minecraft map was covered in TNT? Well, first of all, the surface of this map alone would have the same mass as Saturn's moon Hyperion, which is 5.98 Zetagrams. Yeah, I didn't know that was a word either. If this TNT were to go off, it would be 59 times more powerful than the asteroid that made the dinosaurs go extinct. But on the bright side, it could supply enough energy to power the world for 200,000 years. So what could be more devastating than this? How about if every single block in the game, including the air and underground, were turned into TNT? Well, this amount of explosives would have a mass of 1.52 Yodagrams. Equip equivalent to the mass of all the water on Earth. Griefing with this amount of TNT would cause so much devastation that it could literally replace the energy output of the sun for 16 and a half seconds. One would think that this could be the biggest explosion that you could make in Minecraft, right? Well, not really. The Minecraft map is said to be infinite in size. Except it isn't infinite, it is just really, really, really big. You see, after you go 30 million blocks from the center of the map, the game begins to lag and break down. There are versions of Minecraft that allow you to keep going past this limit until your computer crashes. So how far can you go? Is there an end to Minecraft? Well, if you had a supercomputer that could handle the endless generation of blocks, you could theoretically go a maximum of 68,719,476,736 meters across a map. If Steve were to walk across this map, it would take him 506 years. And the surface area of this map would be 4.7 quadrillion kilometers squared, which is slightly less than that of the sun. And if you were to replace every single block on this map with TNT, it would have the same mass as Jupiter, which is 1.98 million yottograms. And if for whatever reason Steve were to grief someone with this amount of TNT, it would break the binding energy of the planet Mercury and rip it apart piece by piece. And if you used correctly, it could speed up the rotation of the Earth 40 times faster than it is now, making our days last 36 minutes. Although it'd be more likely to, you know, destroy the planet. That's all for now, folks. Click here if you want to see another science video, and click here because, you know, it's the awesome button and it's pretty cool. So, you might want to click it, you know, right there.
And for now, try not to blow up any planets with TNT, because you know, I kind of like this one. And I will see you next time.